Hi, welcome back to the Finite Math Podcast. In the last podcast, we set up a basic template for calculating the future value of a compounded account. Uh, you see it here. Uh, the deposit was $1,000 at 6% a year compounded monthly. For two years, we saw the future value was eleven twenty seven. Now, today, we want to see how to break this future value down to get a finer analysis of how this total is obtained. Namely, we want to do something like uh, look at what a bank statement would look like, a simulation of what the bank statement would be. Now, we can set this anywhere we like, but let's go over and put some a label here. Uh, this will be the month number, and then we'll put the balance in the column next to it. All right, well, we'll put the starting value here, and now I want to put uh, 24 months down here. Well, there's a couple ways to do it. You put in the first one, uh, but now let's just, so we don't have to do the first, second, third, etc., and repeat it, we can use a little shortcut. We can go under Edit and look at Fill, and we want to fill a series of numbers. Okay, so we'll get this little dialog box. Uh, we want this in the columns, not the rows. And we want to do a linear fill is okay. We want to start at 1 and stop at 24. Okay, click OK, and there it is. So it goes down a little beyond the sheet. So let me move this down a little bit so we can see the last one off. Oh, very good. It just fits in. Okay, now how do we figure out the balance? Well, the starting amount that we placed in is going to be that $1,000. So I hit equal to enter the formula and just click on the 1,000, hit enter, and it puts it in for me. This way I'm going to make it so if I change the 1,000 to 2,000, it automatically will update. Now, how do we get the balance at the end of the first month? Well, we're going to, our account will have the previous balance plus it's going to have to add the interest. Now, how do we get the interest? Well, the interest is going to be the previous balance times the rate per period. Well, 6% a year for one month is going to be 6% over 12, which we've already calculated here. So it's going to be a half a percent. Now, we want to copy this down and so since the copy function is relative we have to change this so that it becomes a constant so that's done by pressing the f4 function key it puts dollar signs around that uh, variable and i hit enter and well uh, a half a percent of a thousand is five dollars okay now we want to copy this down you can do it in a couple of ways the shortest way is just to uh, go to this little corner here right click on it and it tabulates it all down, and lo and behold, what do we see? Uh, our final future value that we calculated with the single formula before, uh, when we ended up doing the computations each month at a time, we end up with the same thing, fortunately. Well, okay, now there are several things, of course, you can do with this. Um, this type of analysis is a lot finer. If we wanted to ask the question, for example, how much interest did we earn during the second year or during the first year? Well, we can easily do that. How do we find the amount of interest we do during the first year? Well, that's just going to be the amount, your starting amount, subtracted from the balance after 12 months. So I can just write a formula to do that. Equal this minus the initial balance. And I see in the first year, the account earned $61.68. What about the second year? Well, I, the second year will be the difference between what the balance was after 24 months subtracted from, from that the balance at the end of 12 months. So we can do the same sort of formula here. The balance at the end of 24 months minus the previous, the balance at the end of the last year. So you see that the account earned $65.48, a little more for the second year, but that's the way that compounding operates. Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, 
we have simulated the monthly uh, bank statements. Uh, thanks for watching.